P1530 water table conveniently comes in kit form. So start by unpacking all the components. Now, before you start, prepare a strong surface to work on, as you see here, which comprises of a movable steel frame, a board and plastic covers to protect the paintwork. Obviously, it must be strong enough to withstand the weight of the water table. Make use of enough people to carry the water table's main body with ease and place it upside down on the stand. Now you can start the assembly. Start with the legs. Slip the horizontal part of the leg stand into the protruding grooves. Do the same for all three sections on the main body. Now, assemble the leg stand support brackets. Line the slots up with the holes, insert the supplied screws and hand tighten for now. Again, do the same for all three sections on the main body. Now use the supplied screws and bolts to fix the legs onto the table from the sides. Once that is done, tighten all the screws and nuts with force using a spanner or socket wrench. At this point, the leg stands have become part of the unit and so you can turn it the right way up and place it on the floor. Place the providing plug into the trough. Just pop it into the hole with a plug facing up and tighten it with a plastic nut from the bottom. Make it nice and tight. From here you can assemble the inner frame that will hold the grid in place. Start with the two longer pieces. Now insert the two smaller pieces. 
Make sure that the two holes on the frames face downwards. You'll see why later. To fit the smaller frames, first lift the longer frames at the corners and slot the smaller frames straight into place. Then put them both down. That way the inner frame becomes one solid piece right around the table. Once that is done, there are two more longer frames that get placed on either side of the drain plug. Use the small L-shaped brackets to fix these and all the frame corners sections into place. Now screw the supplied long screws underneath the inner frame. And this is why you had to place these holes facing downwards before. These screws is what is used to level the entire cutting surface on the table. So make sure to place them into every available hole, screwing them up or down to get your levels right. Once that is done, you can start assembling the top grill. Just follow the line and slot the fins in one by one. It'll create the S shape all on its own. All that is left now is to level the entire unit by turning the nuts at the base of the legs to get your level. And that's it. Just add water and you are good to go. Enjoy your new P1530 waterbed. Twenty twenty three marks the tenth anniversary of AM.co.za in the South African market.
through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our 10th anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Rand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in 2023. The facility will comprise a massive 2,000 square meter warehouse, 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor. 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine Dot Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts and consumables. Machine.Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on-site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI-driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.